Hey friends, you're joining me on a very hot 100 degree Florida sunny day. And if you're here, it's probably because you're interested in finding out how to get the Fisker Ocean from brick mode because you let the battery drain to 0%. got good news friends chances are the battery is not really at zero percent it just looks that way so let's talk about it so today my good friend christian over in norway sought out the group on facebook fisker ocean owners group for some help he appealed saying that his Fisker Ocean Extreme was at uh, apparently 0%. He's replaced the 12 volt battery. He has a 12 volt battery on a trickle charger. And no matter what level one, level two, or level three charger he's using, they won't start charging. What happens? Well, on the dash, as soon as you plug it in, it says, initiating charging now mind you there's a zero miles here displayed and it says charging failed fault service uh contact fisker service immediately okay so maybe some of you have found yourself in this situation and you're like ah, my car is bricked what do i do as you plug that charger into your port and all you see is a red light and a very sad noise that comes about. Well, what is going on? I'm gonna give you the fix. First and foremost, most importantly, do not let your ocean ever drop below 5%. 5% is the minimum percentage required to tender your 12 volt battery from the high voltage battery. So what am I saying? Always keep your main or high voltage battery above 5%. All right, let's say you went on a trip or doesn't matter what happened, your battery went below 5% and now, you find yourself uh, in a world of hurt because the 12 volt has died. Well, in Christian's case, he went and bought a new 12 volt. He installed the 12 volt. The ocean immediately started pulling from that brand new 12 volt battery because guess what? The Fisker Ocean is thirsty. If you put a new battery on it while the high voltage is dead, she's going to pull completely from that new battery, that new 12 volt. So you can't do that. Once you get that new 12 volt battery, you need to install an actual battery box. Not a portable one. It has to be plugged into the wall and it must, and this is a critical part, it must supply 20 amps or more to the battery in order to maintain the battery's charge at around 14 volts. This is in boost mode, jump mode, many of you know this. A booster box will not work because the Fisker Ocean will drink it. It'll drink it dry and you'll find yourself in another brick situation. So if you don't have one of these, I'm going to post a link here. From Home Depot. And this is where I found this particular one. It doesn't matter. You might find a different brand. I'm not supporting any particular brand. Okay, so step one, connect your battery box supplying 20 amps or more 
to your 12 volt battery. Get that battery fully charged up and allow that high amperage juice to boost that battery so that way the Fisker cannot steal from it. This is mandatorily required among all Fisker technicians and engineers when they're doing service on the vehicle. So we are going to do the same thing. Step two, now you are going to Allow the battery to charge possibly for a few minutes. If it's all the way dead, you might need to allow that to boost your battery for 20 minutes. Then you are going to unlock the car and connect your level one, two, or three charger. Most of you are going to have a level one or two. If you have a level one charger and it's on the same circuit is your battery booster, your 12 volt battery tender, you're going to need to crank that thing down to eight amps. And then you're also going to need to go into the ocean, go into energy, make sure that you go to sleep for 30 seconds. That way the car goes to sleep uh, faster, save more battery. This is just temporary. Then you're going to go into your energy profile and bump this down to eight amps. That's if you have a level one charger. If you have a level two charger, let her rip at 32. And then you're going to connect the charger, uh, the high voltage battery charger rather. Again, the critical point here, what I'm saying is the 12 volt battery will not allow you to connect any charger if it is not on a 20 amp or greater battery tender. This is not a trickle charger. These are not the chargers you can find on Amazon, which are like 25 bucks or 40 bucks in trickle charger battery. No, you need a battery booster which supplies high amperage. The Fisker Ocean is thirsty and she will drink the battery. Once you connect that, give it 20 minutes. It'll top that battery up and keep it topped up. Keep that system connected throughout the entire process. Then plug in your high voltage. It should now initiate charge process. And you will start to see charging. If you are still getting errors, unplug the high voltage charger, allow for another 20 minutes or so on the battery boost, disconnect the battery boost only for a moment, just enough time to connect your high voltage charger back in. Once charging has initiated, reconnect your battery booster so that way the high voltage battery is not supplying any tender towards that 12 volt. I really hope this helped you. If you followed the steps, again, step one, connect the battery booster 20 amps or greater to your battery. Step two, allow 20 to 30 minutes to go by so that the battery is tendered and then connect your high voltage cable. If it's a level two cable, you can let it rip at any amps because it's on a different circuit. If it's a level one cable, it's probably on the same circuit as your battery tender and you'll need to turn that down to eight amps. Keep the Fisker Ocean above 5% and you won't run into this issue. If it gets a 5% or less, it will not keep your 12 volt maintained. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.